Hello, people of the internet. This is Brownstone coming to you with a new video, and I'm back. Yeah, I haven't been posting in a long time. That's because I've been busy with stuff, but, um, yay, I'm back now with something that is not Avatar related. I know I've been posting a lot of Avatar videos lately, but, um, I've decided to do something a bit different, different this time because, well, well, um, Honestly, I, honestly, I don't know why. It's just I felt like I felt like talking and talking about this. Now, judging by by the title of the video, you guys are understandably mad because it does pose a pose a question, a controversial question, mind you. But but don't worry, don't worry. Before you dislike the video, no, oh, the answer may not be what you expect. You see, this topic is it's kind of it's kind of kind of complicated. I've been a fan of Doctor Who for a while now. I mean. I wouldn't call myself a hardcore fan, but it's like, I am a fan. And I do feel qualified to talk about this topic. Yeah, you guys be the judge of that, honestly. But but I think I know enough about Doctor Who lore and stuff that I can talk about this. So, uh... So, yeah, I am a fan of Doctor Who, and uh, my favorite era is the Matt Smith era. Uh, followed by David Tennant. And, uh, yeah. Uh, the reason why I brought up David Tennant is because it's, this is actually pretty interesting. And this is, this is the topic of the video. So, to those of you who are there for, uh, the 13, the 13 Doctor Jodie Whittaker's, or the regeneration, we were all expecting the new, we, we were all expecting the new, the new Doctor to show up. But what happened? Well, well, you guys saw it. Uh, it looks like David Tennant's back. What? Okay, this is this is why I'm why I'm talking about this because this is like never happened before. It's like never ever happened before in Doctor Who. Like the Doctor can suddenly regain a regenerated life. Now we all know why BBC did this. The thirteenth the, the thirteenth Doctor era had the lowest ratings in any any uh, Doctor Who era era ever, and. And Christian Wolf disappointed this disappointed everybody with the timeless child twist that rendered an epic scene epic scene in the Matt Smith's era utterly pointless. Personally, I don't hate Jodie Whittaker's era. I mean, I mean, uh, it definitely pales in comparison to to the others, and it's definitely missing Murray Gold's music, which is iconic. But I don't hate it. For me, it still captures enough Doctor Who charm that I actually got emotional when. Jodie Whittaker left the show. No. Oh. So I did get emotional during the, during the regeneration scene, which nobody seems to talk about because they all hate the era, which is understandable. This is, like, normally I'm like, oh, I can't understand why you guys would hate this movie, or you guys, I can't understand you. How could you hate, hate Avatar? But I can understand why Jodie Whittaker's era didn't click with people. With this, I can understand. Especially with the timeless child twist, which is just... Ugh. Ugh. Seriously. But. But but, but with David Tennant's era. But, but with David David Tennant re returning to the show. At least for a brief time. It does bring up the question. Did David Tennant's return ruin Doctor Who? Because. Well. We don't. But we all. Well. As I said. We all know why BBC did this. They wanted to save the ratings. In order to prep and prep for. For Nick. Nikati, uh, Gatwa? I'm not gonna try and pronounce that. I'm just gonna call him the 15th Doctor, okay? I'm not even gonna try and pronounce that name, because I know I just butchered it. So, so BBC wants to bring the ratings back in order to prep for the return of the, no, in order to prep, prep for the arrival of the 15th Doctor. That means we will have two regenerations in close proximity to each other, which is kind of interesting, which has never happened before, but... It's never happened in Doctor Who history. Hey, every time we see the Doctor, uh, the Doctor turn into, in, turn into a new, a new, a new, new, new incarnation. Every time we've seen the Doctor regenerate, it has always been a new incarnation. And this time, it's not. So, so yeah, because we all know why, why BBC did this. We're gonna try. I'm gonna try and ha have this have this make sense. 
as well as discuss the discuss discuss potential answers as to why or why not this may have ruined Doctor Who. Now let's first address address one one answer. It did because this breaks lore. It's never happened, and and it has and it has interesting interesting implications, and it really poses poses the question. And, well, if the Doctor can regain a regenerated life, why didn't they do that before? Why not, instead of, instead of turning into Jodie Whittaker and stuff, why, why didn't, uh, why didn't Peter Capaldi turn into, turn into Matt Smith? Or, uh, or the, or, uh, I'm forgetting the other names. I'm forgetting, I'm forgetting the other, the, the, the other names now. Now, I'm not even I'm not even gonna look him up. I want to get this video done. So um, yeah. Why didn't he turn into any of the other doctors? So it's really, really, or why did he turn into Christopher Christopher Exit scene? That's that's one of them I remember. So why didn't he become one of the other other incarnations if this is possible? And because BBC was so desperate to bring ratings bring ratings back back for the show, high ratings back for the show, they pulled pulled something. That completely disregards Doctor Who lore, and obviously they're going to have to write this in and figure out some, figure out some way to, to have this make sense. Now let's address the other side. Other side, it didn't ruin it. The Doctor is a Time Lord. That means Time Lords can do like, pretty interesting, interesting stuff. Stuff like travel around in a police box, which is bigger and bigger on the inside. Uh, they have a magic screwdriver and. Screwdriver and all sorts of mystical, mystical abilities and all, and, and all that stuff. I mean, we've seen a lot of powers from powers from the Doctor and the, the Doctor and stuff uh, throughout Doctor Who history. So something like this, maybe, maybe, if you really think about it, maybe it isn't out of the norm, but it is, it, it but it is interesting to say the least. So what do we? So what do we make of this? Well. Well, I think BBC is in a really tough spot right now because, as I said, it's obvious why they brought brought David Tennant back. He's a fan favorite, and they wanted to save ratings, save ratings for the show. But in order to have this have this really really make sense, because because you can tell I'm really reaching to have this have this make sense. I don't want to say that that David Tennant's return ruined Doctor Who because that's just a that's a bold statement, a very controversial statement, but. In a way, I can't say it didn't ruin Doctor Who. So I'm kind of in the middle with this. This is this is a much shorter video than I normally than than, than I normally put out, as I wanted to get to the heart heart of, heart of the issue issue here. Here, I I don't see many people talking talking about the implications of David David Tennant's return. Right. Everybody, everybody's talking about yay, he's back, and me included. I'm like, I'm like, yay, he's back because I love this era as an era as the Doctor. It also seems like they based the uh, Hasbro based the Mile and a Pony version version of Doctor Who on David Tennant and not Matt Smith. I always thought it was Matt Smith, but then I checked the return, the Recall of Time, No Return comic. Yes, I'm Brony. I'm, uh, yes, I'm a Brony. Don't judge me. And uh, I checked that, and uh, the Doctor says L on C at one point, which is. David Tennant's catchphrase. So, yeah, I had it wrong this whole time. It was, uh, uh, Doctor Hooves is, is based off of of David, David Tennant. Go figure. So, I guess it's fitting that they brought, brought David David Tennant back. Now, obviously, I am really happy that David David Tennant is back. I loved his Doctor, even though Matt Smith is my favorite my favorite incarnation. I'm happy that that David Tennant is back, just as everyone else is. But I can't really ignore the implications behind all this. Because there's no precedent. Like, maybe I'm wrong here. Maybe there's some obscure episode that I somehow didn't, didn't watch. Because I did not watch all, all episodes, episodes, of, episodes of Doctor Who. I watched a lot of episodes from, from, the, from, from, the, from, from, from the eras I liked. But not all of them. So maybe there's, some, there's an obscure episode that explains this. Maybe that's why nobody's... Nobody's saying, wait a minute, how is this possible? So, maybe I'm wrong here. But, to answer the question of this video, did David Tennant's you know, return ruin Doctor Who? Uh...
Ad Ad producer EXE has stopped working. I honestly can't 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 give can't give a definitive answer. I guess what I can say is yes and no because there's arguments on both both sides here. And I thought by making this video I'd be able to come to come to some sort of conclusion, but but because of the doctor's doctor's myst mystical abilities and, and the ability of the time lords in general, we can't really say that this is out of the out of the ordinary. I mean, the show has pulled some. Uh, pull, pulled some wild, no, wild stuff out of the bag in the bag in the past. I mean, if you look back to my favorite episode, The Rings of Akaten, I know that it's a controversial episode, but I love it. It's my favorite episode of Matt Smith's era. So if we look at that, the the world is the the world is safe and safe, safe from Akaten by Clara's leaf, a leaf, a leaf saved Doctor Who. Let that sink in. So, the show's pulled some wild stuff in the past, so I can't say this is out of character for them. Um, and it is a celebrated, celebrated moment, so I can't really complain. But, on the other hand, there's no established precedent for this, and it does raise a lot of questions. Like, if the Doctor could just regain a regenerated life, why didn't he do that before? Why didn't the show staff think, like, hey, maybe this new Doctor would bring... Bring a uh, bring low ratings because many Doctor Who fans fans don't want to see a female Doctor. I mean, I know that's sexist, but that's fandom culture for you. So hey, maybe maybe our sexist fandom culture doesn't want uh doesn't want a female Doctor. Doctor, maybe we should bring one of the other other uh, iterations back. So it does raise a lot of questions and. And I guess the only way this can be explained is is this new regeneration cycle came with a bit of a glitch. Because, like, you know, in, like, in the time of the Doctor, the Doctor got a new regeneration cycle. So maybe this new regeneration cycle has a bit of a catch. Like, um, on your 14th iteration, you will transform back to your previous iteration. No, not, like, uh, your 10th, 10th iteration. Uh, yeah... As, that's the only way I can have this make sense. So, uh... Yeah, that's the answer until we get one uh, get one in canon. So, so again, I am mixed. And I can't really say one or the other, so... Yeah. Yeah, obviously I love this show, and I re I'm really happy David Tennant's back, and I'm happy we'll be able to see him as the... Uh, as the 14th Doctor. So... So, yeah, I'm not upset that 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 has happened far from it not i'm not not upset at all i'm just questioning how this makes sense because you know me me being a, me being a youtuber <laughs> well youtuber culture in general we like to we like to scrutinize everything and criticize everything so yeah i'm just taking a critical lens lens at this and questioning how this makes sense but if you look at it from just a fan perspective yay david Tennant's back this will probably be my uh only, only Doctor Who video, because if I, because, like, unless I find something truly exceptional, exceptional to talk, talk about, I don't want to, like, unless I find something truly, truly exceptional to talk, talk about, while I am a massive, a massive fan of this show, there are clearly people, there are clearly people more, more qualified than I am, far more qualified, qualified than I am to talk about, talk about this stuff. It's just since, since David Tennant's return, he's the talk of the talk of the town now. I decided to, to put my own thoughts on it. Weeks after it happened. Yeah, I should have should have really done this video way earlier. But yeah, this will be my only only Doctor Who video because uh, there are more qualified people than I am to talk about this stuff. But if I see something, see something exceptional, then I will then I will change that and make another Doctor Who video. It just as I said, I want to save it. For, I want to save it for the truly qualified people to talk about. My gig is defending. A, um, 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 my gig is, is is defending Disney, defending James Cameron's Avatar, hyping up Avatar: The Way of Water, talking about the Owl House or whatever I fancy talking about, and and yeah, I'm clearly not, I'm not uh, a hardcore hardcore fan. I am a massive fan, but not a hardcore fan. So there are far more, uh, far more qualified 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 people to talk about this. And plus, since I said I didn't hate Jodie Whittaker's era. That probably disqualifies my opinion in front of a lot of people, so... Eh. It is what it is, I guess. 
with that being said, thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to uh, like it. Like and subscribe, and the next videos will be Avatar-related. Don't worry, guys. So, uh, yeah, see ya.